YouTube, Mike the Renai guy here. How we doing? I hope we're all being uh, safe out there with this uh, pandemic that's been going around the world. Yep, we're still working. Um, I think on this other video that I showed, my new uh, tankless wall, we set up here at the shop. We have an RUC 98 interior natural and an RL 94 interior propane. And those are the units that you've seen on other videos. Uh, I also have an RUR unit, and we're going to be swapping them out to do future videos. But the video that I'm doing today um, has been probably one of my biggest question and concerns and problem that I've gotten for the email, the, the uh, comments, and the phone conversation. And that is the venting. So let's look at these two units here. This is a non-condensing unit. The way you could tell is it has a single vent. Those are the RL series, the older series, the um, V series. That's the value series, the luxury series. It has a single vent. That vent is going to be, and I'm just going to show you the actual vents. The vent is going to be, now again, both of them are going to have the same color outside, as you can see. But the inside is different. The inside for the non-condensing is going to be metal. Okay? That's because you have, it's less of efficiency, a little bit higher temperature. So you have metal. The inside for condensing is going to be plastic. So the outer polymer is going to be the same color, the same uh, uh, material made by the company Ubic Venting. But outside, same inside metal for non-condensing, condensing inside is plastic. So the unit itself on the um, non-condensing is concentric venting only. So this venting is called concentric, which is pipe within a pipe. The middle of the pipe, the centerpiece, is where the carbon monoxide goes out. The outer shell is where the fresh air gets sucked in through the fan. On the non-condensing, so we're going to just make believe this is a non-condensing elbow. Okay, you're a non-condensing elbow. You're only going to be able to use the, con the, the concentric venting. There is no other option. On the condensing model, and of course this is an older series, and I'll explain what the newer series is, you have two pipes. Center pipe is your exhaust. The pipe to the left is your fresh air. You could use, with this adapter, which goes from the concentric, it blocks off the air, only has the exhaust going through the middle, three inch, Schedule 40, again, Schedule 40 PVC. Go back in my other videos, I actually do a full demonstration, but it is the red letter PVC, not foam core. So you're going to use this adapter, and you're going to remove this cap. Now on the new Sensei, this is 2 inch. So this here is the concentric venting, this, for condensing, or this here and this is 2 inch. Again, Schedule 40 PVC, red letter, not foam core. So in this instance, you're going to bring your exhaust up and out. You're going to bring your fresh air up and out. But when you go out, or out here, you're going to come over, you're going to be 12 or 14 inches apart. When you go outside, and then 45 down. On the Sensei units, you're going to get two screens that you're going to put inside of the 45s. Don't glue them in. They're meant to be glued. Just put a stainless steel screw in it. If you have to remove it and clean out a lizard, or a dirt dog, or a snake, whatever. You'll be able to remove that screen, which is plastic, and clean out, vacuum out, swab out, whatever. The vent. You won't have to break it. Okay? So, if you're going to use 
the concentric venting, you're going to take this off, throw it in the garbage, and in here you have a 21 inch horizontal termination kit. This is how you get it. It comes with um, this vent, and if you notice, there is a mark here that has it says top. So when it goes outside, it has to look like that, where this angle is down and the air intake is at the bottom. And then your elbow is going to go right on here. Your black thimble and this black piece is the only thing that faces outside. Go get me uh, a thing of the uh, lube and the three bag of three screws. So this black part is what sticks out only. That is for condensing and non-condensing. And then the white thimble here goes inside. So when you push this through the wall, this part is not on. You push it through the wall, make sure your silver sticker is facing up, push it in, and then push your thimble on, which I put it on backwards, and then push it up against the sheetrock wall. Okay, we'll get into this in one second. Now, cutting this, I do have a separate video that I am in my other workshop cutting a piece of vent pipe. Cutting it for condensing or non condensing is exactly the same. And I'm going to show you the improper way of cutting it. But let's show you this first. If you notice on this piece, this is, this is a 10 inch non condensing extension piece. And if you notice, the silver part is sticking out further than the white part. It's sticking out exactly a half an inch. The reason it's sticking out a half an inch is when you push these together, this part engages further in than this part, allowing the carbon monoxide to flow in and then the air, excuse me, flow out and the air to flow in. This is what happens when you cut it wrong. We removed this about a month ago. You notice this thing is exactly flush. They just took a sawzall and cut it and put it in. What happens is that when this is engaged with each other, it doesn't go in all the way. So what happens is the fan, the fan here, the fan here, will actually, as it's sucking the fresh air in to make combustion, it's going to suck carbon monoxide because it is not sealed in this sealant here. And that is going to get back into the burner, and it's going to make that burner make a lot of noise, and it's going to ruin the burner, no matter if it's condensing or non-condensing. So when this is cut, and again, I have a video on this, you're going to measure from the engagement, which is this part right here, this lip, not this lip, this lip, right here. So you measure from that engagement to here, you cut just the white. So if you cut six inches off, you'll have six inches of either the silver or the gray sticking out. Then you measure from the white a half inch, mark it, scribe it, and then cut it. And you also, as you notice here, it was not deburred, it was not cleaned up, it was not chamfered. So if you don't do that, or if you do deburr it, after you do that, you need to blow it out with a compressor. Because you do not want the plastic or the metal chips getting sucked back into the pan. Because that's just going to cause undue heartache on the fan. So... That is, and that is going to be also for the vertical vent going through the roof. Now, the vertical vent, again, I have a video on that. When you put that through the boot or you put that through the existing boot, it goes down to a certain kind of a storm collar. So the black is going to stay. The reason you want only the black to stick out of the house is because these are UV protected. If you have like this sticking out of the house, here's the house. This is sticking out. Unless you, you have to paint this, and then again, it's going to look hideously ugly sticking so far out of the house. This will become deteriorated from the sun. So when you push this in, you have to have that much. Now, this is paintable. You can paint the thimble. You can paint the black vent head. Just don't get paint inside the fresh air inlet and the exhaust coming out. So leave that alone. All right. As far as... Again, both of the units are exactly the same. As far as you doing PVC, 
whether it be the three inch schedule 40 or on the new sensei rur units or the sensei let's just say the sensei units which are two inch again schedule 40 red letter pvc you're just going to glue it you put them in you don't have you can cut everything flush so sometimes it is easier with the pvc but in a case like this where it's just an elbow to go through the wall it would be that would be pretty much the easiest way and here in florida it goes in a garage or it goes in a utility room it's on an outside wall we drill a five and a half inch hole we shove this through put the thimbles on cut our pipe and we're good to go all right now for both condensing and non-condensing in every box you're going to get a bag like this which has three quarter by half inch sheet metal screws and what you're going to do is when you engage this into this once you push it in it's going to look like that you're going to put the screws in equidistant parts of this right up almost up against this lip here and what you're going to do is that screw is going to grab this part and hold these two you don't want to put a two inch screw through here and go through and into this silver because it's going to do the same thing as cutting this it's going to suck that little amount of carbon monoxide into the fresh air again causing undue heartache with the burn all right so like it in every box you're going to get three screws now in the horizontal vent kit whether it's 11.5 or the 21 or the vertical both sizes you're going to get this Ubink lube it's a Rolex vent system lube okay it is for seal ring lubrication basically and this is enough basically what you're going to do once you open the package you're just going to take a little bit and let's grab the elbow this is and it's only used for condensing the plastic not you don't need it you don't get it with the metal and it only comes in the termination kits you're going to put a little bit of lube on the inner o-ring and this outer o-ring it's going to make it slip in it's still going to make it the dickens to pull it apart but it gets it in nice and smooth and if you have to cut it and you chamfer the metal and this again deburr it blow it out the chamfer even a little bit will help now let's we're going to make this is for condensing it'll make it very easy to push in if you use this non-condensing on a condensing unit the water is going to come back it's going to cause this silver to erode and make the carbon monoxide mix with the air and it's going to do it very quickly so you have to make sure that when you order the unit if you're ordering a condensing unit you need to make sure that you're ordering the concentric venting for a condensing unit and it's going to say it on the box now if you do it with just pvc whether it be an older say our r98 or the new sensei which is the two inch you don't have to worry about it because it's going to be schedule 40 red letter and brought out now consult your Renai manual for footage and then again over a certain footage and this is going to be another video now that we have this board set up on the setting of what they call the long vent now one other thing on these tankless heaters of course they always get me when i'm on the video on these units when you are going to if they're exterior they're exterior there's no vent it's got the vent in the front air fresh air coming in this way you don't have to worry about it and an interior unit an eye unit has brackets at the top and the bottom and there's four screws on the top four screws on the bottom you loosen them the bracket then moves this unit out almost two inches so we mount all of our if you mount this directly say on a block brick wall or good toggle bolts to a sheetrock wall which i don't recommend you are never going to get this thimble on in a million years between the elbow and the thimble, you're not going to get it off so what we do is we mount them 
on a 2 by 4 and then we take the brackets and we, on the work table, we bring them out, lock them back in so you loosen the screws. Don't take them off, just loosen them. Pull the bracket out, lock it. Now, that one bracket on the top has the oval hole that you can get the screw on and then push it down to hang the unit, then level it, and then put your screws all the way around to tighten it in. But this being two inches off the wall and an inch and a half off the wall, so you're almost three and a half inches off the wall, then the distance from here to the wall, you will have enough room, plenty of room, to get this thimble on. So that you'll make it a nice, clean install. And especially here in Florida with the heat, this thing molds pretty much to any, like, semi-flat surface. Siding and clapboard, no, because you have that, you know, the difference in pieces. But the stucco and the brick, like that, it molds right to the wall perfectly. And most of ours is stucco. All right, YouTube. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I started a Patreon channel, and um, if you'd like to um, support us through Patreon, it'll help with the future videos and the content. Um, I will post all of that below. And again, my email will be below. If you have a question, email it to me. Most of the time, I will send you my phone number. You call me usually at 5, 6 o'clock at night, and I'll go over it with you. All right? Again, I'd like to thank all of the subscribes, all the likes, all the comments, and all the emails. All the support, and I will see you on the next video. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.